Well, welcome back to Base Camp WNC. Well, we're here in Foothills of North Carolina, and we're putting in a spring water setup. And the boys' place is up here, only a hundred and some feet away, but fairly steep. But here's the spring we found. And I was here about a month ago or so and dug part out and it's still flowing. So here it is, almost 4th of July. So if it's still flowing now, it must have some water in it. So we're gonna go ahead and get going and take you along for this build. Well, here we are. We lo I located a spring right here. I just got done digging it out. Now we have a stream of water coming in here. One right there. One over here and had one right above that rock. So we're going to put the dam wall below it from here all the way over and tuck it behind this rock. It's all dirt right there. So I got it measured. I'm going to go up and cut it, come back down and start working on this one. So while I was gone, it puddled up this much water in the hole. So we're going to go ahead and start driving the plastic in from here up into this mud wall, into the mud and this side. And we're going to take a digging bar first and make a trench for it to be in, check the rocks, and then just take a five pound hammer and drive it in. Let's see if I can get stuck in the mud. There it is flowing out. It's still doing over a gallon a minute, as you can tell the Water's pretty muddy. It hasn't settled down from where it's flowing up in here in the sand layer. It's still clear, so it's going to flow while we do the rest of it. But it's going to come down and then go into our homemade spring box right here. Of course, it's going to come in the back end. This will have two filters on it. And the outflow comes out here. And the cistern tank's gonna go right down there. We're gonna get down and dig the landing spot for it now. So what we did here, this is the bulkhead fitting that'll go in the top of the tank for the discharge line of the pump. Oh. What we did, we drilled a little 1 8 inch hole in that thing. And that is because all the way down this hill, and most of it's rock, I won't be able to bury it. So what this will do is, it's a non-pressurized system, so when it fills the tank up, when, when the man stands here and fills the tank up. When he fills the tank up, what this will do is let all the water drain back out of that pipe down into the tank, and that way the line will sit all winter long with no water in it and won't have to worry about it freezing. Well, the piece of pipe that is the outflow I always put a piece of plastic under it. it. Keeps any sediment from sucking up in there. And then this right here is my bleach and sanitizing pipe. The holes are on the bottom. It'll be mounted somewhere like that in the gravel. It's never made sense to me. Corporate America, I mean, commercial people put it right here in the outgoing pipe, which will clean that line, but does nothing for the spring. I like putting it in the gravel, and that way you can take the cap off, pour bleach water in there, it'll sanitize the whole spring, and then go out the line. Well, that's how the clean-out pipe will look. We got one more bag of gravel to fill in the back side to give it a good angle sloping down. Pop a hole through the plastic where that pipe comes up, and then backfill it, and we're done with the spring. Well. We got fitted up in that notch. I started putting some dirt on to hold it. We'll cover this thing over and I'll show you what it looks like when we get done. Well, there it is. It's all backfilled. And I don't know what's more impervious, this red clay or the plastic that's under it. But there's your bleach clean out. When we get the tank set, we're going to put some bleach down in that hole and sanitize the spring, spring box, and the tank. Well, this is my filter setup. They come out with a one inch, go to one inch to three quarter. Then this is just a three quarter T and elbow if you want two of them in here. We drill a set of holes that are above 
they're inside where the filter will sit and the only other thing you have to do I think China rearrange the measure system you do have to take a razor knife and cut a little bit out on the bottom they used to fit right over three quarter inch pipe and somehow metric didn't convert now so um, and these are just plain sediment filters you get at Lowe's two of them for about ten bucks now in place this is what it looks like water comes in from the spring has to fill up go through the filters into them holes and out this pipe to the tank this one here will be an overflow and on this one here what I might do is just go ahead and pipe to overflow into the tank as well that way if the filters ever get clogged because the owner doesn't come and clean them it'll just go down the overflow well there's the spring covered up there's the clean out of course the pipe comes down it's flowing into our homemade spring box going through the two filters here's the outflow line and of course the overflow line and then I went ahead and ran both of them into the tank and let me show you down in the tank right quick well right there's the system we built it's holding it up off the tank and of course the discharge lines coming up the wire and the white nylon rope that'll keep it from settling down in the back of the tank or moving around and it took an inch and a half hole to put that bulkhead fitting in that this is the rope we brought it up through a hole made a loop so it won't move around we took the electrical wire here and we wrap tape around it and then tape on the top to keep it from falling in or getting pulled out. And then of course we made a connection up here in the tree. And as usual, I forgot one fitting. I got to go get a hose barb for that to hook up the discharge line going up the hill. And we'll be done. Well here it is. Goes from the spring box into the tank. This is the line that leaves the pump and goes up. And like I said, the hill's so bad, won't be able to bury it. So we got this tied. And like I said, inside where I showed you, on that fitting down just inside the tank is an eighth inch hole drill. So once they stop pumping water, everything will drain back down that line all the way down the hill. In wintertime, they won't have to worry about it freezing. Of course, the blue line is the line from the pump goes out and the wire goes up. And that is a 325 gallon tank, something like that. So they're set up. If I can ever help you out, help you design it, help you do it, install it for you, that's what we do. And as usual, like it, share it, subscribe, tell your friends about it. See you on the next one.